Hey naturals, how are you? I am super excited to be here with you today to help you improve your pronunciation, especially focusing on vowel sounds in English. So, in English, as in other languages that use the Roman alphabet, we have five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. However, in English, we have many more than just five sounds. We have more than 14 different sounds associated with these letters, and some of those sounds are quite similar. So if you've been struggling with differentiating some words from others with similar sounds, this lesson is going to help you so much. So keep watching. So today I'm out in nature with you. I've brought you into my backyard for something a little bit different, a little bit more natural. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at seven different words that have similar but different vowel sounds. Now, if you enjoy pronunciation lessons to help you to speak English naturally, fluently, and with confidence, don't forget to subscribe. If you have not already subscribed here to the Go Natural English YouTube channel, you definitely wanna do that so you never miss a new video lesson. Also, did you know that you can read along while you listen to my video lessons? Most of my videos have subtitles in English. All you have to do is click on the gear icon down below and select subtitles in English. Also, if you want to represent your native language and help other people who speak your native language to discover Go Natural English, you can contribute your own subtitles in your language in the same area. Clicking on the gear icon and select uh, contribute subtitles. Excellent, so let's get started with the lesson. Are you ready? Let's go. You may have noticed that today my voice is slightly different than usual because I have a bit of a cold. Yes, cold is our first word today. Oh, cold. Listen to the vowel sound and repeat after me. Cold, I have a cold. Next word is similar but different. Could, C-O-U-L-D, could. Could has the same vowel sound as words that are spelled much differently, like put or look, could, could. Now be sure that you are not only listening to me, but repeat after me when you hear me say a new word. So, so far we have cold, I have a cold, and could, I could feel much better by tomorrow. Cold, could, called, from the verb to call. I called my mother this morning, called. So not call led, but call. So be careful. These words that I'm gonna show you, a lot of them are verbs, and none of them get an extra syllable for the past tense. Cold, could, called. Excellent, let's keep going. A similar verb to call is call, C-U-L-L. -L. Call means to select a small number from a greater number. For example, I received hundreds of applications for a job opening. I need to call out the top 10 for interviews for the next step in the process. To call. Go ahead and repeat. To call. And let's say the past tense because it's more similar to cold. So cold, could, called, called. Excellent. Next, we have keel. To keel over is a phrasal verb that comes from ship terminology. Boats keel from one side to the other, but people can keel over. This is slang for to die or to pass out. The weather is so hot, I hope no one keels over from it. Excellent, so repeat, keel over, keeled over. So keeled sounds quite similar to killed, right? To kill, eh, is that short I sound, not keel. Let's use this in a phrase using slang. To kill the vibe means to bring some negative feelings. Party was going great until Paul walked in and killed the vibe. Killed. You can repeat after me. Killed. Now, so far we have cold, could, called, called, killed, killed. 
And our seventh word is cooled. The weather, the temperature has cooled off quite a bit from earlier in the summer. Cool could be a verb or a noun. Cool can mean good. Excellent, so let's repeat the words one more time. Cold, could, called, called, killed, killed, and cooled. Excellent. So you're learning so much about vowel sounds in English today. I have a cold, but you know, it's a good thing because it made me think of this lesson to share with you. So if you enjoyed it, make sure that you subscribe here to Go Natural English on YouTube. And you know, the best way to learn more with me is at gonaturalenglish.com. If you have not bought the English fluency formula, bot is the same vowel sound as called, by the way, ah, ah, called, bot. Uh, you should get that. That's the first step, the first next step in learning English with me to improve your fluency and your confidence. So thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you again soon in the next lesson. Bye for now.